Okay, so we're going to do a walkthrough of a school board system modified to include a register allocation table where the physical register file is the architectural register file. So I found a very good uh, demo video. Which, oh, the screen's gone blank, yeah. Come back screen. <laughs> uh, which is online. I'll put the uh, YouTube video for this one um, in, the, in the comments later. So, um, where here there are uh, uh, reservation table lines like this, uh, what we've done in the diagram here is turn those round so that where the table is like this, they are like this, one, two, three, and they are separate function units. Okay, so this is why you have uh, uh, an adder zero, adder one, uh, multiply zero, multiply one. Uh, we're not going to use that one. So we've got a three by three matrix. Now here's the that yeah. register allocation table, All right? which I believe we might actually not need. We'll see. We'll see. Now, here's your standard 6600 uh, dependency table between the function units and the registers with uh, write and read dependencies. Uh, this, is, this is new. This is a instruction order dependency bit you know, from the function unit to the function unit. So our three instructions were mul1, mul, uh, add2 and add3. Add and that results in a dependency between mul0 and... <laughs> Get it to focus, come on focus. <laughs> mul0 and add0 and there's dependency between add1 and add0. So the first, the multiply, which was uh, a mul r1, r2, r3, we get focus, focus, focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then multiply 0, we have to two and three and they're ready so that can go ahead straight away and in here in this table it was putting a valid zero and a tag indicating x zero and that is where is it it's in here isn't it Yeah, it's this zero here, so it's going to go to right to this one. So that's how that's that's why that W is there. The next instruction is the add plus zero. I'm really sorry about the autofocus here. <laughs> and he is an add R four. So R4 is destination, and it's adding R1 and R3. However, R1, we have a read dependency, I think, because it's um, uh, dependent on him, him producing the answer, him producing that one. So it's not ready. His source one is not ready, and it's dependent on x zero. That's that's it's basically this. So that will be a bit field, not a not a, a tag number. It's fantastic. This is this is all just bit bit fields. Um, we also mark this d to say it's dependent. So um, the plus zero is dependent on yeah yeah the add. First add is dependent on the 
then multiply instruction 1 and instruction 2. So um, these must be clear and then the next instruction depends on the dependency order is on the on the third one it says dependency order is dependent on, uh, on this one so basically the the x theorem multiply although it takes six cycles it's the only one that has a d bit cleared so it goes first before the um uh the Thing. So, so we've got the, the mul, it had R1 uh, uh, thing, so it overwrites those two. Um, but you need that result to be first before this one. And if we look at the, the um, in the original video, he explains, and then there's some bus logic um, which uh, works out the, <laughs> which one of the um, things, because the mul completes at the same time as this add. And we have no idea which one you're supposed to do first. Well, if you've got these D, these dependency bits here, and only the one that has a dependency bit clear can finish first, and that is the multiply, when that that one goes and writes to register one, and that will then clear that dependency bit and then yeah you get the idea um, and I don't think with this with this and this with these dependency bit things and the um, expressing the this tag is now in here as a right a dependency thing you don't need this table <coughs> so we have register renaming hidden in the fact that these things now these these basically direct through to the same adder unit and these will go through to the same multiplier unit so this is shared um, now the same trick is actually used this dependency th thing stops um, anything thing, and um, it's the same trick can be used for branch speculation and for precise exceptions Nice.